اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم I welcome you all students to this tutorial lecture on change management. I'm Safiullah Shinwari. In this uh, tutorial lecture, we're going to talk about the change management project, that what is a change management project, and also we'll discuss about the external influences and internal influences, uh, which have you know, a direct impact on change management project and also on the performances of the organization uh, and also uh, those factors, internal and, internal and external factors uh, which are forcing or driving organization for a change. Uh, but at first, you know, let's discuss what is a change management project. Uh, we can say that a change management uh, project refers to all those factors and situations which influence a project in change management. Uh, and also we can say the task, the processes and the structures or the functions of the uh, organization or the, the jobs of the employees, uh, which can be uh, influenced you know, by those factors. Uh, so they are including uh, the change management project. Uh, so let's, let's you know, discuss uh, those factors, uh, which are you know, influencing the organization, its performances, and also uh, the, the, the change management projects, uh, and also you know, the structure of the organization, the policies and the, uh, uh, the strategies of the organization are influenced. Uh, there are two types of factors which are the external and internal factors let's discuss all these in further details uh, as we know that uh, the business world uh, is one of one of you know the world uh, which is not stagnant it means you know it does not it does not stop uh, you know it accepts changes and it changes you know time to time uh, you know uh, the businesses they are developing you know the new strategies the new policies uh, they are offering new products and services, uh, you know, uh, they are developing the new markets. Uh, so we can say that, you know, the businesses uh, or the business world, uh, you know, they are changing uh, time to time. Uh, in these changes which are occurring in the businesses, uh, these changes occur due to the globalization and from other hand, you know, uh, advancements or changes in technology uh, are forcing the businesses uh, to change. Uh, change you know the way uh, they are operating or change you know the way they're serving the customers or change you know uh, the way they are structuring their organization or change the way they are making their strategies so uh, these changes you know can occur in two areas uh, one is you know the internal environment and the other one is the external environment uh, so the organization uh, should always be aware and always should analyze and study these two environments uh, and should uh, know that what are the internal changes and what are the external changes uh, which are pushing the organization or forcing the organization for bringing change. Uh, because, you know, if the organizations are not aware of these uh, two environments, internal and external environments, uh, so, so this uh, type of organization, you know, uh, may not survive in, in, in an industry or they may not be able to save or secure their competitive position or to secure, uh, secure their market shares or their customers. Uh, or to have you know enough profitability profitability uh, so that's why the organization should always uh, know about the internal and external environments uh, and, and should know that you know what are the factors in both these environments uh, which are driving the organization for a change uh, so let's further discuss you know about uh, these environments organization systems or processes can be disturbed by some internal or external factors as I mentioned before, if there is a change, you know, in the external environment of a business, so definitely it will have, you know, a direct impact on the organization performances, on the organization operations, uh, on the structure and strategy of the organization. For example, uh, if a change, you know, occurs in market, uh, like, like, for example, technology has changed and the organization uh, did not adopt the new technology, so the organization will not be able to compete with its competitors or if a change occurs in the demand of the customers, it means the customers are demanding something new, uh, but the organization couldn't fulfill or meet that demand. So definitely the organization will lose the customers. So that's why changes in the external environment of the business will have direct impact on the uh, operations or on, on the performances of the businesses. Like in a way changes are well, adopt Nagaran, so the businesses will definitely die. So let's proceed to all those uh, internal and external factors which are leading organizations for a change or forcing organizations for change. Uh, at first, you know, let's discuss the external factors. Uh, so we can say that 
uh, that uh, the external factors or the external forces they always you know uh, exist in the external environment or in the macro environment of the business uh, in these forces include uh, like you know competitors uh, like suppliers uh, like customers like economical conditions like te technological changes like you know legal environments like you know political situations uh, you know like you know uh, uh, the 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 labor force or like like you know the competition level outside of the organization so all these points or all these forces they exist in the external environment of the business uh, so this is important for the organization uh, to assess or evaluate uh, the external environment by using some tools some techniques uh, or some frameworks like you know they can use pestle analysis uh, they can use, you know, like you know, the port of four, uh, you know, uh, you know, the port of five uh, uh, analysis model, or they can use the SWOT analysis model in order to study and analyze the external environment of the business uh, to see that, you know, uh, what changes, you know, are occurring there. Uh, so the organizations, you know, should always study and should always, you know, adopt those changes which are occurring in the external environment of the business. Uh, for example, you know, uh, if the competition level is going uh, high in the market, so the organization should know that how to deal that situation. Or if the customers uh, are just, you know, decreasing, so the organization should know the reason that why the customers are decreasing. So they should just, you know, bring change, you know, either, uh, you know, to find the reasons that why the customers are decreasing or why customers are you know uh, leaving the company or not using the product of the, the company so once they find the reason based on the reason they should bring change in their uh, uh, you know organization it might be change in the production or it, it might be change you know in the price so they may change you know their strategy according to the study of the market so uh, let's you know discuss that what are those external factors uh, which are driving or forcing the organization for change. At first, it's a technological change. As we know that the businesses or the, the organizations and technologies, they are interdependent and they have a very strong relation. Uh, though technology, you know, has uh, transformed or developed, you know, the organizations and businesses and helped the organizations uh, a lot the way they are conducting their businesses. But uh, this is one of the external factor uh, that, uh, you know, which is always uh, like advancing or changing. Uh, so development, you know, in the technology is happening. Uh, and also uh, like, like, you know, uh, the businesses, they have to adopt, you know, those changes. Uh, for example, you know, uh, like if we see in the last few years, uh, a technological change happened, online banking has begun, uh, and also, you know, online shopping has started. Uh, and also, uh, you know, uh, the business transactions now can happen, you know, online. Uh, so, so these are, you know, the technological advancements, you know, uh, which happened. Uh, so the businesses or the organizations, they need to adopt uh, these changes. Uh, if they don't, you know, adopt these changes, these technological developments or these technological changes, uh, they won't be able to compete with, uh, you know, uh, like like the given industry uh, so so that's why we can say that because of change in technology uh, the organization may change you know its working styles uh, you know its uh, production uh, styles or the organization may just you know restructure its organization uh, the policies and strategies of the organization may change or the responsibilities uh, will change some job rotation may happen uh, even you know the way they're dealing the customers you know it will change uh, if we see in recent past uh, the companies, you know, they have developed a CRM, uh, uh, you know, like, you know, customer relationship management system. In the past, they were conducting, you know, like, like a customer study to see the satisfaction level of the customers. So, uh, you know, like they were using surveys or interviews. But now, you know, uh, most of the organizations, they have, you know, a digital or online system, uh, which is managing, you know, customers' relationship and always, you know, uh, gaining or getting their feedback about the company, about the organization. So these are the technological developments that the organizations uh, have to adopt. And changes in technology uh, will definitely force organization to change its structures, to change, you know, their working, uh, you know, systems and conditions, to change their strategies, or to bring all those necessary changes which can happen due to technologies. Uh, the next is, you know, change in markets. 
so uh, we can say that you know change in market environment uh, it also refers uh, to change uh, or uh, any change in the external environment of the organization uh, which is mostly not you know in control of the organization uh, but it has you know a strong influence on the organization uh, like like you know it has you know uh, like like a kind of uh, impact on the organization's performances uh, so we can say that change in market environment it can be like you know a change in competition level uh, a change you know in in, in, in customers a taste or a change in suppliers uh, so these changes can create some troubles and also these changes you know force organizations uh, that they should adopt and bring changes you know in their organizational uh, structures or its strategies uh, so so whenever the change in market happen for example you know uh, a customer taste uh, is changed it means you know uh, like the demand for a product is now uh, decreasing so the organization should see the, this this change in the market environment zamane ke bayak tawlid the market تقاضا کم میشه خو ارگنایزیشن ای را باید ببینه و ای چینج را باید اڈاپٹ کنه آیا مثال ای با پروڈکٹ کے کدام تقاضا اس کی کم میشه سو وٹ از دا ریزن ویدر یو نو دیر از اے بیٹر پروڈکٹ ان دا مارکیٹ دیٹ دا کسٹمرس دے آر یو نو پریفرنگ دیٹ ان ناٹ یوزنگ اینی مور یور پروڈکٹ ویدر دیر از اے پرائز ایشو یو نو دا کسٹمرس کین فائن اے لوور پرائز پروڈکٹ ایز کمپیئر ٹو یور پروڈکٹ Uh, so what are the reasons you know uh, once the organization conduct a study and they they study the market environment uh, in which you know the customers uh, they are not happy anymore with your product so zamane ki malumat mein kana wo market me bina ki the market change mein aaya mana customers ke dega product na me khara so definitely they will bring change in their organization uh, it means either they will introduce uh, a new product or either you know they will cut down the price or either you know they will add you know some new features uh, so uh, we can say that you know in uh, change in market metan ke bashakli the gabosh like you know your competitors uh, they are you know introducing new products or services so while they are introducing new products and services so definitely they will attack on you and they will just you know try to gain your shares and uh, in, in, in just you know steal your customers uh, so Uh, they are decreasing your profitability whenever uh, there is a change in market in your competitors uh, they are doing something different so automatically your organization need to adopt those changes uh, and see that you know what what sort of changes should be brought in organization kada idare shoma bait kodam taghir bi ayata ki competition level kada market amada ya taghir kada market amada ura bait adopt kani ya shayad you know suppliers kas kodam mushkil khalq mein kana it means you know the suppliers bargaining power has increased so now you know uh, it's up to the supplier that you know they are supplying the raw material to whom based on which cost on which policies and strategies so due to that you know you need to bring change in your organization in your strategies so that's why we say that you know whenever there are changes in the market environment so definitely those changes will affect the performances the operations the structure of the organization and force the organization to bring a change the next one is the social changes Uh, so we can say that you know social changes refer to all those changes which are occurring you know uh, in, in in society it can be like you know the lifestyle of the people uh, or it might be you know change in the culture of the people uh, the way they are living or it might be you know like like a change you know uh, in the economical system of the people uh, so these are you know the changes which are occurring you know in in society uh, so these changes can also uh, like you know impact the organization uh, for example you know if uh, in a society uh, the people you know that they they are just you know uh, like having a very uh, bad uh, financial or economical condition like you know there is a crisis so uh, the organization need to adopt you know uh, to that situation otherwise you know it will be difficult for the organization to survive ya misal the farhang wa culture mardam ke چینج میں آیا یا تغیر میں آیا دیگا ارگنائزیشن ضرورت بھائی دورہ کی بہو چینج خدا اڈاپٹ کنا تو پتہ ہونا دو مارکیٹ یا دو انڈسٹری موافقانہ کرہا و آپریشن سے خدا پیش ببرا دا نیکسٹ ون از دا پولیٹیکل ان لیگل چینجز سو وٹ ایگزیکٹلی اٹ مینس وی کین سی دیٹ دا پولیٹیکل ان لیگل چینجز آر دا یو نو دوز چینجز وچ آر وچ آر انویٹیبل in these political and legal changes uh, are also part of the external factors uh, which can influence you know organization 
uh, the operations of the organization and also the performances of the organization. So whenever you know changes happen in the political system uh, of a country, like you know uh, governments are changing or the political situations are changing, the rules and regulations of a country are changing. So they have you know a direct impact on the businesses, uh, and also the businesses need to change uh, their strategies in their operations. Uh, in, in their business uh, uh, organizations, you know, according to the new rules, to the new laws of the country. Uh, for example, while, while a political change happens, you know, in a country, so uh, it may just, you know, like, like, you know, increase the taxes. Shayat waqt ke da ki ek mamlakat political system change me cha, wa shayat, misal, sir, businesses kya taxes ya increase kana ya decrease kana ya sir, baazi idarat kya increase me kana, sir, baazi idarat kya a decrease mesha ki sir businesses tasir dara zamane ke taxes system taghir mesha automatically uh, businesses ya organizations kias ya majboor mukallaf hasan ki policy khuda wa strategy khuda kias ba asasi uh, uh, rules and regulation ki now mesha amra izuk bait mutabiqat paida kana uh, shayad da mamlakat inflation shuru shawa uh, as political changes kho zamane ke inflation shuru mesha definitely inflation kias sir organizations yak tasir dara kya bait is situation a deal kana ya misal shayad currency devaluation paida shawa da mamlakat currency kias arzish khuda az dis meta so definitely for the business organizations you know it's a crisis situation ke chitor e halat abait adopt kana wa taghir kias wala business shan chita sir dara ira bait ba shakal wa shiwi khuk kias deal kana ya government kias ba khatir tijarat ya ba khatir organizations kias rules and regulation kias redefine me kana yani usul wa muqarrarat nawa ba shan kias uh, define me kana ya barshan set me kana diga businesses ya organizations kias bait amrai u regulations ya amrai u muqarrarat nawa kias bait mutabiqat kana wa business ya organization kada kias according to the new rules run kana Uh, okay, Guftamisha ke tana external factors nistan ke balai idarat ya balai businesses tasir dara. Internally, ham idarat ke as bazi nukat paidamisha ke usare performance idarat ya gnawa tasir dara. It's not only the change in external factors that may uh, necessitate organizational change, but any change in the organization internal factors may also, uh, you know, uh, help organization or force organization to bring a change. Yani tana external factors na me bosha ki organization na majboor ba taghir me kena internal factors ham me tana ki ya gidara na majboor ba yu kena ki baayt change be ara wa taghir be ara the organization the structure ya the strategy of the organization so let's you know discuss all those external factors which are forcing organization to bring a change uh, in, the, uh, in the internal factors, uh, the first one that is, uh, you know, you know uh, change in the structure of the organization. Uh, as you know, the title shows clearly that change in the structure of the organization. Sometime uh, the organization, they need to restructure uh, the organization uh, because, you know, maybe with the current structures, the organization is not that much successful or that much profitable or they are not, you know, uh, like, like, you know, reaching their goals and targets, you know, uh, in an effective way. Uh, so therefore, we can say that, you know, a change in the structure of the organization may occur uh, because, you know, the research shows that uh, hundreds of the companies, you know, around the world, uh, they were just, you know, like on the verge of downfall. It means those companies, they were dying. Business uh, Aibudan ke was bain me raftan, but once you know they restructure the organization, like in zamane ke organization wala restructure me kena change me ara the structure organization, they become you know the more successful businesses. Ya ke asan business business Aibu mafakana me bosha. Mamet anem ki restructure a misal boshche shakli mukhtalif anjam batem. Ya we can say that you know restructuring can be done in different ways. So restructure means, you know, appointing some new uh, executives or managers or leaders in your organization. Uh, restructure by you want to ask that the executives or misal manager I know that they are about appoint show but what else was if other other show so whenever the organization is bringing you know uh, these changes in managerial positions okay uh, someone came so the the managerial positions change me I'm uh, raising a case myself job rotations so that me get a what new experiences case for organization yeah so it helps the organization you know it in its productivity and also in its performances 
Metanem ke change in structure ke as ida bai monom bugayem ke changing the methods of communication, da bai ne idarat ke communication system as kudam fili system ke as u change shava ya changing the ways of production, batawre ke filan idarat production mekana u tagir shava ya finding you know the better ways of serving customers. کہ براہائی بہتر فکر شوا کی چھے قسم کسٹمرز یا میتانا کی مثال سرف کنا یا فیلن کی دائی دارہ کدام ریسورسز موجود ہیں او ریسورسز اکی از دوبارہ ری ایلکیٹ کنا مثال دوبارہ سٹریجیز فرمیولیٹ شوا دوبارہ سٹریجیز آئی نو کیاس آغاز شوا و ریسورسز کیاس ای باید دوبارہ ری ایلکیٹ شوا با اساس ریسپونسیبیلیٹیز و با اساس وظائف یا ما گفتا میں تانیم کہ چینج آف مینجرز ویدن دا ہیرارکی آف دا ارگنیزیشن میں ہیپن شاید دونمو منیجیریل پوزیشنز کے تغییرات بیارا ای تغییرات میں تانا کہ مثال میں تانیم کہ بگئیم کہ زمانے کے چینج ان دا ہیرارکی لیولز میں آیا نیو ریسپونسیبیلیٹیز کے از با افراد و اشخاص انتخاب میں شاید وہی میں تانا کہ ای نیو ریسپونسیبیلیٹیز میں تانا کہ منیجر آرہ کیا اس موٹیویٹ کنا that they do the better job and also learn you know through the opportunities کہ بری جا کے کلام اپرٹینٹیز دادا میں شاہ ازیاد طریقہ میں تنہا کیا لرن کنا و و ای مثال میں تنہا کے سارے ارگنیزیشن یک تاثیر مضبط داشتا باشا اچھرا زمانے کے افراد و اشخاص نو میں آیا دا ایک پوزیشنز و با تجارب نو میں باشا و میں تنہا کے مثال ارگنیزیشن از یک طریقہ یا از یک ذہنیتی نو یا از یک ایکسپیرینس نو لیڈ کنا دیکھے بعض وقت انٹرنل فیکٹرز ہم میں تنہا کے ارگنیزیشن با ایک چینج فورس کنا The next one is, you know, deficiency in the existing organizations. Any deficiency in the existing organization means what? If we look to the word deficiency means incompleteness or there are, you know, some shortcomings, you know, in the organization. Any basic kambutya kiyas da idara maujudas, ushayat da structure idara basha, da karmanda basha, ya da resources basha, ya ba shakli ki ya karan jam me ta, ya ya da structure idara basha. Nika ee ee nukat kiyas balai idara taasir me kena. Ya ma me tarim ki ee bugim ki ee deficiency kiyas shayat as lehaz job stress basha. کہ ادارہ کیا اس دے ادارہ کارمندہ کیا استن وہ جاب سٹریس دارا بسیار سٹریس ازی خاطر دارا کہ مثال یا سرشان کار چیتا اس و یا دے فکر استن کہ شاید وظیفی خدا از دس بتا و زمانے کے جاب سٹریس میں باشا دیفنیٹلی جاب سٹریس کیا اس ریسرچ ایرا ثابت میں کہنا کہ بالای ادارہ و بالای پرفرمنس ادارہ کیا اس یک توصیر بسیار منفی دارا یا لیک آف موٹیویشن استن دے ادارہ کیا اس کدا موٹیویشن فیکٹر موجود نیز او شاید یا فائننشل یا نن فائننشل موٹیویشن باشا ادارہ مثال ای ایک دیفیشنسی دا ادارہ موجود است کہ کارمندہ خدا موٹیویٹ نمی کنا تا کوا کارهای خدا بشکل بہتر انجام بتا ای هم سر ادارہ میں تانا کہ ایک تغییر ای یک ایک تاثیر داشتا باشا ادارہ مجبور است کی را تغییر کنا تا کہ آپریشنز و پرفومنس بزنس بہتر شوا یا ورک لوڈ میں باشا بارای کارمندہ سو دا ورک لوڈ یو نو آلسو ڈز ناٹ ہیلپ دا ارگنیزیشن تو پرفارم ویل یا لیک آف پراپر انسینٹیوز میں باشا دیٹس دا ارگنیزیشن از ناٹ آفرنگ دا پراپر سیلریز اور دا پراپر ویجز یو نو تو ایٹس امپلائیز سو دیٹس وائی دا امپلائیز آر ناٹ موٹیویٹڈ ٹو ورک یو نو پراپرلی اور افیکٹیولی فار دا سکسیس آف دا ارگنیزیشن اور ایٹ مائی بی لائک فزیکل ورکنگ انوائرمنٹ ایٹ مینز یو نو ویئر دا امپلائیز ورک دا فزیکل انوائرمنٹ از ناٹ ایز اٹریکٹیو or it's not uh, as secure or as safe uh, to the employees. So that's why they are not willing to work properly. They got eat deficiencies, guess, within the organization, موجود میں باشا یا ورک لائف بیلنس نہ میں باشا مثال کارمندہ کے اس ایک ادار کار میں کہنے کے پر فیملیز تو خود ٹائم دادا نہ میں تھا نا سو دیس ڈیفیشنسیز ان دا ارگنیزیشنز ویل ویل جس فورس دا ارگنیزیشن تو برنگ دا چینج ایف دیار ناٹ برنگ دا چینج سو دیار ویل ناٹ سروائیو The next point is nature of the workforce. Uh, this is, you know, uh, in the recent years, a very much important topic, you know, the workforce. Uh, in most of the organization now, uh, they're giving, you know, much importance to the workforce. Uh, so we can say even that the organizations uh, these days, uh, they're just, you know, becoming like, you know, employee centric. لیکن نیچر آف دا ورک فورس کیا اس عبارت عظیم ایبار شاہ کہ ارگنیزیشن چی نوا ورک فورس تارا آیا ورک فورس ارگنیزیشن کیا اس ڈائیورسیفائر اس آیا مثال میل فی میل جنڈرز تا انجا موجود میں باشا 
کدام ایج مردم کار میکنه آیا مثال اولد ایج می باشه یا میدل ایج می باشه چرا که بالای اداره تاثیرات دارن اگر ورک فورس مثالی تر یک نیچر داره که وطنا ادوانتیج خود ما نظر میگیره و ادوانتیج اداره رو ما نظر نمیگیره چرا که بعضی وقت ما میبینیم در ادارات ورک فورس تر می باشه که وا فکر میکنه که دی ورک مور این دی گیت لیس اگر ایتر یک نیچر در ورک فورس موجود باشه سو دیفنیتلی ایت وانت هلپ در ارگنیزیشن یا اگر ورک فورس اداره کس موٹیویٹیڈ نیز سو آٹومیٹکلی ایت ویل ہاو یو نو امپیکٹ آن در ارگنیزیشن پرفارمنسز یا مثال ورک فورس اداره بسیار اولڈ اس ان دی ار گوئنگ ٹو ریٹائر سو دیفنیٹلی ایت از انادر فیکٹر کہ ادارہ مجبور است کہ چینج بھی آیا چینج خدا چینج وارد کنند ادارہ یعنی نیچر آف دی ورک فورس کیسی باید مطالعہ شوا و بعد از کیاس ادارہ مجبور مکلف است تا که تغییر بیاره و خدا سروایف کنه و پرفومنس و اپرشنزی بزنس یا ادارهی خدا امپروف کنه